Hey, friends, what is going on? Scotty Chi here, and I'm here to do something. Something I'm not very good at, and I'm, I do apologize for that. Anyway, this video isn't about me. Well, mm, technically, well, no. All right, cut all that out. Anyway, hi, guys. <laughs> the fuck am I doing? Anyway, so I'm uh I wanted to make this video because I just got done watching the Boogie 2988 documentary. Let me tell you, man, it was pretty heavy. Not because you know Boogie's heavy. I'm heavy too. I'm a big guy as well. But when I, regardless, what I'm what I'm trying to say is it was pretty good. It was uh it was you know interesting getting into the mind of this person who I have been watching since like 2009 and 2009, 2010. And you know, it's I don't know, it's just kind of like watching an old friend deteriorate and i don't and like i don't like that but the documentary was really good uh but just for just in case for anyone who hasn't watched the documentary yet i advise you to not watch this video for spoiler reasons but if you want to watch it hey i would love for you to stay that'd be great so basically the documentary is talking about you know boogie's uh you know rise and fall mostly fall unfortunately you know it kind of opened my eyes to you know how whoa how successful he really was in the prime of his youtube career and how much you know how much of a downfall has happened since you know in the last couple of years really you know with this whole uh you know crypto thing we don't have to get into that you know a lot of people have made videos about it we don't have to talk about that and you know he was talking about not only you know you know financial problems but he's talking about his you know mental health physical health relationships family troubles trying to get a job uh, reputation online you know going from and there nah. so it's you know it's a it was a pretty there was a lot to cover and you know personally there's a lot of stuff i didn't know about the guy crazy man but the the main thing that i definitely was taking in while watching this documentary basically was always have a backup YouTube is temporary. Let's be real, guys. You know, who knows how long YouTube is going to be on this plane? You know, this 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 platform has been out, what, 18 years now? Yeah, 18 years. You know, it's still pretty brand spanking new. There's a lot of creators that I have come across, sort of note about, sort of don't really know about, that have dropped everything just to pursue YouTube. Uh, and that's fine. You know, a lot a lot of them, you know, are very successful at it. And then there's some people who were successful on YouTube. And, you know, a couple of years later, the algorithm changes. The views go down. Subscribers go down. And they're going from making, you know, five figures a month to, you know, barely hitting three, four figures. You know, it's it's unfortunate, you know, and to me, that's why. I could never, ever, ever take YouTube as serious as I want to. Because let's be real, guys. The only reason why I have a YouTube channel, I have subscribers, I have a following, is because I look like Mr. Beast, okay? None of you guys care. I'll make other videos. I'll make skits. I'll do. I'll post my, you know, comedy. I'll post, you know, my my podcast on there. None of you guys care about that. All you guys want, to, all you guys want more is more Mr. Beast stuff. And... That's not going to benefit me. Sure, it can give me a little more views, but you know what? That's not going to do anything to, for, to me as a creator and also a comedian as well, too. Anyway, I'm getting off topic there. So what, I'm, what, what, what Boogie was trying to say was always make sure you have a backup. Always make sure that you are financially stable because he went from almost having a million dollars as a net worth to barely make it $20,000 on YouTube in the last few years, man, maybe less than that. And it really opened my eyes as well, too. As much as I would love to be a full-time creator, there's no way in hell I can afford to do that. As much as I want to be a full-time comedian, you know, doing shows wherever I can't, wherever I can get booked, there's no way it's going to happen right now. I mean, probably, I would probably better have a, I probably have a better chance of doing that than of doing YouTube full time. But anyway, regardless, this isn't about me. So that's what I'm trying to say is, you know, if you're a creator on YouTube and you really want to pursue this, you know, go for it. I'm not I'm not discouraging anybody. You know, I like I like being a creator. I like knowing that I have, you know, followers who do genuinely care for, you know, what I post, what I say, what I do. 
even though some of you guys are like, "Hey, how's Mr. Beast doing?" I bet you, I bet you guys have because you're gonna have fun doing Thanksgiving in a couple of weeks. Shut up. So, what were your thoughts of the documentary? You know, I thought it was great. You know, and it just, you know, it made me really sad too. You know, knowing that, you know, everything going on with Boogie, everything going on, you know, health wise and you know, financial wise and everything. I hope he's around for a long, for a long time. And you know, Boogie, Steve, I'll, I'll call you, I'll call you Stephen, I'll call you Steve, Stephen, whatever I'm going to call you, man. You know, if you if you're watching this, I doubt you will be, but dude, I tip my hat to you. You've been a big influence on a lot of creators and on this platform called YouTube. You've been, you know, you've entertained me. You've entertained millions of other people, man. And I just wish you, you know, best of luck. You know, hey, if you need a friend to talk to, you know, don't be a stranger. You know, you can hit up my Instagram as well. You know, yeah, we can we can shoot the shit like old friends, man. We really can. I wish I can give you advice, but I can't, you know. So I um yeah, that's 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 all I gotta say. But guys, you know, please leave a like, share, comment, you know, take a look at the podcast. Uh do everything you can, man, you know, because I want to continue doing this as well, too. And yeah, that's it. I love you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day.